this is your girl Yana Ferrano and as you can tell I am currently in the airport so I am traveling to Puerto Rico this is a Puerto Rico vlog um I just got off my first flight and I just got here it's about to be like 10 o'clock and my next flight is not until five in the morning so I'm here for a good 10 11 12 1 2 3 seven hours so i have absolutely nothing to do i'm just sitting where it's like quiet it's just me vibing and i guess this is gonna be the little area i sit in until i figure out which gate i'm at because my thing hasn't updated y'all see my little superman curl cute but yeah i i'm gonna have to entertain myself i don't know if i'll be able to go to sleep though so that's fun and then my flight to i think my flight to puerto rico is like an hour and some change the only thing about this is like if you get a good flight you'll be in puerto rico within no time but they have like very extreme layovers right now so that's not fun my sister's already there and this is the dreadful part that i've been dreading this is not the airport fit i wanted i wanted to do like cute little intro or whatever for y'all but this is what it's giving for right now but i i, I like it quiet because over there too much going on so i'm just gonna decompress i'm gonna boost our and I'm gonna watch movies on my phone, so I'll get with y'all when I get back to Puerto when I get to Puerto Rico. So I finally made it to Puerto Rico with my sister, and it's cute. It's giving Mexico vibes. I was in Mexico. It's a little rinky dink, but it's cultural. Love that. So we're on our way to go eat at this place called Chloe's. So we'll see what it's giving. I haven't ate since yesterday Me at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. yesterday, and I had a double shot, and it went straight to my head. How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel great. Awesome. Now we're going to smoke. It's not my business. Oh, those flowers are so pretty. Oh my god. I don't know if y'all can see them. Ah! I would bring my, um, you know we should have bought These people cannot drive out here. <laughs> do y'all hear that? Those people, these people cannot drive at all. I thought my Uber driver was going to kill me. Wait, oh, the way he was oh. driving. Oh, get up the street. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> a lot of buildings are like abandoned. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's a lot. It's like abandoned. I mean, they have Even like... With Airbnb, yeah, like it's it's like, it looks abandoned, but they have like luxury places like on side of it. But like, this is what Mexico looks like. This is Puerto Rico, but Mexico literally looks just like this too. That's what I told Audie last night. Like when we was in Cancun, it look, literally looked just like this. And then you got a pretty ass building next to it. Even the parking meters are really deep. This shit don't even look like it works. Nope. Free. Free parking everywhere. Pair. I don't know how you say that word. What? Stop. Oh, pair. Pair. No, pair. pair. How do you pair? Ooh, watch that diaper. Oh. <laughs> There's she, got, she was off an Airbnb. <laughs> they got fucking oh. shitty diapers on the ground. And like I seen, like, I don't even think they have like central AC because a lot of people No, they don't have central. They got windows. Look. That's vents. That's like Hawaii had window vents. I mean it feels it well it feels better than New Orleans. I'll give it that. That's for sure. I love being out the country. Pretty cool. 
Now this is my second trip of the year. I have to beat last year. Cause last year I traveled four places. Well, actually I traveled three places, but I traveled four let's times. Do, let's do St. Thomas. Let's no, you haven't seen the St. Mark. I think it's St. Martin, something like that. It's St. Oh, Martin. Oh yeah, Martin. that is nice. Girl, what we you wanna go that way? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, St. Martin looks pretty. But not, not, I don't think a lot of people travel there though. But it's somewhere on the outskirts, whatever it's at. But child, traveling here, it, it just, that layover kill. Oh, it's the chicken! It's a turkey! Wait, what is it? It's, it's, a, a, it's a rooster. It's a rooster. Yeah, it's a I'm not gonna say you call it a it's, it's not a chicken, it's a rooster. Wait, do y'all see the rooster? Oh my god, I wanna take you home. Why did the rooster cross the road? Oh, what he got? Look at Let's him. Look at another up. one. So, oh, you hear it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They have roosters. I hope they don't eat y'all. I don't think they eat roosters. No, they eat the chicken. The male, the female, I think. They gotta meet with each other. They take the rooster and the chicken and the But yeah, traveling here, it's just that layover killed me. I was in the fucking airport for like seven hours doing nothing. Six, seven hours, I don't know. I called, when, did, when did I call you? At like, like 12 in the morning. 12 or one o'clock in the morning. But yeah, I'll get back to y'all when we get the clothes. Yes, yes, so put your seatbelts. Oh, they got seatbelts? And Kitty would have oh. seatbelts. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, they got seatbelts. So let's go. Turn the coat to the Lord. First of all, welcome to Casa Bacardi. And welcome to the most important rum distillery of Puerto Rico and around the world. Right now we're going to the Family Museum where you're going to learn a little history about Bacardi. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Bacardi. Bacardi. No, Bacardi. Bacardi. He broke his tongue. Bacardi. No, Bacardi. 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 It's the D-I at the end. Exactly. The D-I is the strong word. Oh, Bacardi. Okay. Now it's calling Bacardi. 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 Yeah. Bacardi. Over there, you can see the old San Juan. Oh, old San Juan? Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. The best view of any company we have over here. So you can appreciate old San Juan and all the crews. When the crews uh, come to Puerto Rico, they pass from that water. So we see it like very... Classroom, please find a station with ingredients. 
We have three stations for table. So if you're going to be in a corner table, please scooch all the way to... We have all seen this video. We have all seen it. All right, put it down. Right here we have the bar spoon. The bar spoon, everybody, has the spoon side and the coin side. The spoon side, okay, the spoon side is to add ingredients and the coin side is to mix ingredients, okay? Place it down. Now right here on the right hand side, we have the muffler. The muffler, everybody. And how do we hold the, the muffler correctly? With the finger pointing up. Because this is not more fungo making. This is mojito muggling. Okay? So when we're going to go muggle, we're going to put our elbow up. Okay? And now, all right up and we're going to say, Woo! So we're going to put your bike spoon down. I mean your muffler. Now right here we have the measurer. The measurer, everybody, which has two sides, right? We have the one ounce side and the one and a half ounce side. So when I said add one ounce, and when I said add one and a half, the larger side. Put it down. And on the left side, you will see the shaker. Go ahead, give me the shaker. And start practicing your shaking moves. To this song. Here we go now. Here we go now. Shake it, shake it, shake it. So we're going to do it in a little bit. But what is important about the shaker is that we have a dense line right here. Okay? Make sure that you identify that the dense line is right there. Wedges. Four line wedges. And you are going to place them in your glass with the fruit side facing up and the peel facing down. Fruit up, peel down. If you have three, that is fine. Some of you got lucky and got full. But if you have three, we can still make a delicious mojito with just three line wedges. Fear not. Put your tongues down. We're now going to take our bar spoon and we are going to take two spoonfuls of sugar. Two spoonfuls of sugar and you are going to make that glass, that, that sugar snow on top of that line, everybody. Make it snow, make it snow on top of the line. And if you are making it snow, can I get a ooh? So everybody, have you caught on as to what is the slogan here at Casa Bacardi? What is the slogan here at Casa Bacardi? Do what moves you. And what is that, Jacob? How do, how do we apply that here? Well, at first, that is the key to mixology, okay? Because I just told you add two spoonfuls of sugar because that's what I think is best for you. But we have all had mojitos before, right? We know how sweet or how sour we like our mojitos. So if you like an extra sweet and that's what moves you, add a third spoonful of sugar. That's totally up to you. If you don't care about your general health, add a fourth one. It's totally up to you, nobody is judging. Always, always, always do what moves you! There you go, we're gonna keep it up there all the time. Now that we have done that, we're going to take our muffler with the finger pointing up, the elbow up, and we're gonna go inside of our mojito glass and we're gonna press and twist those lines. Go ahead and press the juice out of that lime, everybody. And it's going to start mixing with the sugar. Very important that you do. And while you are working there, after you are done, feel free to tap, 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 and put it down. But you're going to know when you're done when you can't squeeze anymore. Remember that we want all the lime juice possible. So, let me talk to you really quick about how the mojito was born. Mojito is a two-part word. I am talking about mojo and mojo. Mojo or mojo is a African word for potions. Mojito makes all our Latino words smaller. 
So I am talking about a small potion. And why a small potion, Jacob? What is going on? Well, in the 1500s, during the prior days, the pirates were going high hoeing, high hoeing in every island, and they were going through cases of the scary and scurvy, which they called their inner demons. I'm going to add the mint leaf at three, at four, at five, however many you have there, for as long as you always, always, always do what moves you. Very good. Now, did you see how I did it say to lap them in? My friends, there is a reason why are we not going to slap them in. And the reason is, you guys, I know you have seen bartenders around the world doing it, and that looks super cool, but we have learned here, and you are going to add just a quarter of it. I'm just kidding. Just add the whole thing. Yeah, you know what? Because sometimes I just say add it, and people ask me the whole thing. Yes. You think it's going to tell you add half of it? No, 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 no. So just add the whole thing. My friends, now the rub is going to meet with the mint leaves and it's going to start activating the oils we need. And we're going to take our bar spoon with the coin side and we're going to get to the bottom of the glass and we're going to give it a proper swirl. Go ahead and give it a proper swirl. Mix all those ingredients. This is the base of the mojito, which is very important for the mojito overall. Okay? We have the mint, the sugar, the lime, and the rum mixing there, creating all the flavor of our mojito. Okay? So after you're done, tap, 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 and place your bars. Friends, we, have, we are reaching the point where we are going to add ice. You see that bucket of ice right there? You're going to add ice to your mojito glass all the way up with ice. Do not leave a single room for air. You need to add ice all the way up. Alright, so now that we have added ice, now what we're going to add is some flavor everybody. We're going to add flavor through club soda. So you see that club soda right in front of you and you're going to add it in your mojito glass and you're going to fill it. You're going to top it all the way up with club soda. Okay, and when you add it, can you do a ah. My friends, I just said that club soda was for what? Flavor. So you can actually substitute the club soda for something else. Side. We're going to go all the way to the bottom of the mojito glass. We are going to trap the bar spoon in between our hands, like this, and we are going to rub our hands together. This right here is called the swizzle. Say it with me. The swizzle. And the swizzle you want to do is to mix all of those ingredients and flavors at the bottom of the glass to rise to the top of the mojito glass. Like this, my friends. You might want to do this and move it all the way up. Okay? Moving all the mint leaves, all the lime, all the sugar up there. And if you want, you can do this. You can move it up like this, okay? It's very important that we take that flavor at the bottom of the glass and move all the way up. All right. Now we can place our glass spoon down, hold our glass, raise it all the way up, and we are going to toast like the honorary Latinos that we are today. And we are going to say, Arriba! Arriba! Your mojito. All right, everybody. Here is the thing. I'm currently walking. I just got some Subway. Y'all, they really, everything closed early over here. So, bitch, they ain't really got no food. And I'm hungry. The pizza place closed. So, I want to go to. So, I got me a goddamn sandwich. I'm about to eat my sandwich. And I told her ass to... to toast it twice no but i'm not gonna complain i'm gonna thug it out sandwich smell a little funny come on bitch 
I'm hungry. I don't nobody think I'm a prostitute. Phone kind of dirty. My phone been dead most of the day. Don't be looking at me. I'm not up for grabs. Babe, the sandwich, bussin. So good. But I'll give it y'all when I get back to the hotel. There's a the corner. I'm so good. And I'm gonna finish the Kanye West documentary. So ciao. Good morning, guys. It's another day in Puerto Rico. Thank you, Rooster. Good morning. So today we are going to breakfast for I made a reservation because so I know my sister wasn't gonna do it. Her ass is forgetful for eleven thirty. I pull up her stuff. Uh for eleven thirty. I might y'all ain't got a plan of fitness. And I got my brother black card. So I'm like, don't go to the gym. I might just go actually. I think I'm gonna go. So See if that's given if I can get in because it's literally down the street from us. So. Oh, yeah, shoulder hurts. But yesterday, my sister went to the Affirmation concert. I'm going with her today because, child, I had to catch up on my sleep because. I didn't have any proper sleep for the past 24 hours. So when we came back in at six o'clock, I slept. She came back in at like one in the morning. Child, she gone still. That's her side of it, but you know, I'm gonna let her do her thing. But anyways, yes, today should be fun. We're going to the concert. We are, what else are we doing? I know we go to the concert. We're going to get breakfast. Yo, my sh fucking shoulder is killing me. I don't know if I slept the wrong way. I'm going to stretch. Yeah, I might have to go to the gym and stretch. I don't know. I have to do something. Because my body hurts. Maybe if I go to the gym, my body's going to hurt more. I don't know. I just need to stretch, really. But yeah, today should be fun, eventful. We try to get as much as possible, and hopefully, I can get some good eats because we haven't had the chance to really eat at any restaurants out here because everything is packed. Everything needs reservations, so we have to get on it. And I really want to try like they got Peruvian, they got Italian. You ain't gonna find too many American places unless you're eating fast food. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I had Wendy's from here. Baby, them cows different. That was probably the best Wendy's ever ate in my life. Like, they had churro fries. That's cool. I wish I would have recorded it. But that Wendy's was top notch. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Because I like to try fast food places outside of the U.S. Because they do have different things on the menu. Like, their menu was crazy. They had, like, all types of shit. Loaded potatoes, churro fries. Stuff I ain't never seen before. I think they went and had chicken tenders too. So yeah, that was cool to see. But yeah, today the goal is to eat something, some Puerto Rican food or some some kind of food that's not American. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when we do something. Gotta get content. VIP. So currently we are at Chloe's. I don't know where this is currently located. It's like, I don't know, but it's cute. The view gives, it gives 
so I ordered French toast. So yeah, it's cute. Hopefully the food is good. Oh, look at my makeup. Oh God. I'm not in a ride right there, so I don't keep um, I don't run it up. Y'all, it keeps raining out here. Every time, every day, it's been raining. But it'll stop. It's giving very much tropical. And then there's this crazy homeless man, y'all. Where is he? He losing his fucking marbles. He tried to start shit with us, but he was like, you gonna get drunk. <laughs> very much so. I was he was going to the road. Right. I would drag you, sir. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Like, I don't know. Like, he been twitching. God bless him, though. God bless him, yeah. Because child people really be mentally ill. But yeah, once the rain stops, we're going to the beach. If you know you ain't single, let like in the band and make some noise. Woo! And I bring on my bill. Here we go. What you say tonight? What's that you call Got back inside from the concert. It was lit. It was crazy. Had a great time. And let me show you guys what God blessed me with tonight. Bitch, she was working at the pyramids tonight. Working at the pyramids. Working at the pyramids tonight. Shout out to my real Frank Ocean fans. You know what the fuck it is. Okay. Anyways, God bless me. With a little with a with a coin. Had a little money, so God did me good. Alright. God, where's my charger? Oh, wrong bag. But yeah, it was cool. It's like two in the morning. My sister is still out. I had to leave her. I'm like, bitch, I like to go to sleep. I don't have to go to sleep. It's about to be 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 a.m. No signal. I was watching Netflix. But anyways, catch y'all in the morning. Hope you enjoyed the little montage of the festival. Because I, I try to get as much as possible. So, see y'all. We're cowgirls for the day. Yeehaw! We're going to go ride the horses. But first, we must eat. Yeah, last day here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's been a good time. I'm weak, the bird and the chicken run. From that way? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm a photographer. Killers on. Oh. Say my roach killers. We're off to get some food.